subject english grammar standard 2 topic story writing hello students so before starting i would like to ask few questions students do you all like listen stories yes very good everyone likes to listen stories so who tells you stories yes your grandparents your parents tell you stories a story is generally designed to entertain and or send a message across so students a story is basically a narrating of real or imaginary events involving real or imaginary people so so students in simple words generally we write a story and we read a story for our entertainment and to learn something new and to learn moral values from it the characters in the story may be a people animals and something even non living things who talk and behave like human beings stories are very important part of everyone's life every culture we usually tell stories to remember the great work done by the great leaders like mahatma gandhi the great personality and of course to teach moral values moral principles and simply just for the sake of entertainment so students there are many types of stories as of fables tragedy humorous stories fairy tale stories etc so today i am going to tell you all stories so students the name of the story is the ugly duckling so students you can give the title to the story and it should be related to the main characters of the story so you can give the title as the duck and the four ducklings or the duck and the ducklings you can give the title of your choice but always remember it should be related to the story or the characters of the story so students here is the story given for you but this story is not in the proper sequence so i want you to arrange this story in the proper sequence in the first picture it is all other ducklings started calling him ugly in the second picture the sad duckling swam away to a river nearby and saw beautiful white swans the ducklings looked like the mother and the fourth one looked different he realized he was not an ugly duckling but a beautiful swan after some time he looked his reflection in the river a farmer had a duck and four ducklings so now students arrange this story in the proper sequence so tell me first which sentence will come yes very good this one a farmer had a duck and four ducklings so first 
A farmer had a duck and four ducklings. Now, which sentence will come? Second sentence. Yes, very good. Three ducklings look like their mother and the fourth one look different. So, we have got a first sentence and second sentence. Now, let's see for the third sentence. So, now students tell me which sentence will come. Here we are having four sentences with us. All other ducklings started calling him ugly. The sad duckling swam away to the river nearby and saw beautiful white swans. He re realized he was not an ugly duckling but beautiful swan. After some time, he looked his reflection in the river. So now tell me. Yes, very good. All other ducklings started calling him ugly. So our third sentence is, all other ducklings started calling him ugly. Now let's see what is our next sentence. Now here we are having three sentences with us. The sad duckling swam away to the river nearby and saw beautiful white swans. He realized he was not an ugly duckling but a beautiful swan. After some time, he looked his reflection in the river. Now students tell me, next, what sentence will come? Yes, very good. The sad duckling swam away to a river nearby and saw beautiful white swans. So this is our third sentence and this is our fourth sentence. Now students, we are having two sentences with us. He realized he was not an ugly duckling but a beautiful swan. And after some time, he looked his reflection in the river. Now tell me which sentence will come first? Yes, very good. After some time, he looked his reflection in the river. So, our next sentence is, after some time, he looked his reflection in the river. And next is, he realized he was not an ugly duckling, but a beautiful swan. Very good students, keep it up. So students, here is the story which we have arranged. Let's read The Ugly Duckling. A farmer had a duck and four ducklings. Three ducklings looked like their mother and the fourth one looked different. All other ducklings started calling him ugly. The sad duckling swam away to a river nearby and saw beautiful white swans. After some time, 
he looked his reflection in the river. He realized he was not an ugly duckling but a beautiful swan. So students, now tell me what is the moral of the story? What we have learned from this story? Yes, the moral of the story is you are beautiful just the way you are. So always remember, do not try to change yourself or your looks or your color. You are the best creation of the God. So be yourself. You are beautiful. Now students, I have a, another story for you all. So the name of the story is Two Cats and Clever Monkey. Students, you can give the title of your choice as I have told earlier. Okay, but it should be related to the characters or the story. So for this story, the titles or the name you can give is the two cats and a monkey or cats and monkey or which I have given two cats and clever monkey. Anything. Okay. Students, what do you see in this first picture? Yes, the two cats are there and your the piece of cake is there, okay? So now I want you to complete these sentences with the help of pictures, okay? So let's start. The two cats found a piece of Cake. Yes, as you can see in the picture. Next. What do you see in this picture? Yes, the two cats are fighting. So, they both wanted to eat it and started fighting. What do you see in this picture? The two cats are fighting and here there is a monkey. And this monkey is telling, I will help you. So a monkey saw them fighting and said he would help them. In the next picture, what do you see? The two cats are standing here and this monkey is having two pieces of Cake. So he took the cake and made two parts of it. Yes, students, what do you see in this picture? Your two cats are there, two pieces of cakes, and monkey. Monkey is telling these two parts are not equal. So he said to the cats, these two parts are not equal. Now, what do you see in the picture? Monkey is taking a bite from one piece of the cake. And the two cats are looking at him. So, he took a bite from one piece and then from the other. Students, what do you see in this picture? Yes, here you can see the monkeys eating the cake and the two cats are sitting and just watching him. So he went on taking bites till only two tiny bites of cake were left. After that, what do you see in this picture? 
yes the two small bites of cake is left and monkey is eating that also and this cats are very sad finally he ate the two tiny bites also what do you see in this picture yes you can see these two cats are very sad now okay so the cats did not get any cake at all so here is the story two cats and clever monkey i will read it the two cats found a piece of cake they both wanted to eat it and started fighting a monkey saw them fighting and said he will help them he took the cake and made two parts of it he said to the cats these two parts are not equal he took a bite from one piece and then from the other he went on taking bites till only two tiny bites of cake were left finally he ate the two tiny bites also the cats did not get any cake at all so students can you all tell me what is the moral of the story here yes the moral of the story is when two people fight the third one always gets profit so you should not fight among yourself because the third person interferes and he gets the profit so students for writing a story there are some important points to be remember first one is complete the sentences second is follow the sequence third every story has a beginning middle and ending fourth one choose a title that is related to main characters of this story So now it's homework time. Given below are some pictures from the story The Fox and the Grapes. With the help of the pictures complete the sentences. So students how we did just now for the greedy dog story in the same manner you are going to do this. so students here some pictures are given to you all and the incomplete sentences are given and you are going to complete the sentences with the help of these pictures so here a fox was filling and you are going to complete the sentence then he saw what did he saw then he jumped next is he tried as you can see in the picture he walked and he said i hope you have understood this topic thank you